I've got my game face on, and if anybody doesn't know that term, you will tomorrow because they're going to give out these eye patches that go to benefit the Pat, Pat Summit Foundation to every single person that's going to the game tomorrow. So be sure to wear them. This Get Your Game Face On promotion and idea was the brainchild of our next honorary letterman along with his staff at the Vaughn Network. As a young kid, Steve Early was a Tennessee fan. He would take a tape recorder. This is probably going to date him a little bit. He would take a tape recorder and put it up to the radio and record John Ward's call of the football games and basketball games in the 60s and early 70s. And it just so happens that later on, his boss at the Vol Network, Edwin Huster, was looking for some, some archive audio that they couldn't find. Well, well, Steve had it. And I think Edwin probably accused him in some way, shape, or form of some sort of infringement uh, on, by, by having this audio, not crediting the Vol Network, but I guess it worked out for Steve in the long run. In his early teen years, when the power team really wasn't present other than on a football helmet, you, you, for those of us who have got some age, we remember the old UT logo and the Vols logo. The power team was only on the football helmet. But Steve and, and his brother Chris, they took their backboard down of their basketball goal at their house and Steve painted a perfect power T on that backboard that they used growing up. He was, he was born to produce in Market, Tennessee, and he truly gives his all for the University of Tennessee. He also does great impressions of Honorary Letterman John Ward, Honorary Letterman Gus Manning, Honorary Letterman and the late, great Haywood Harris, and Letterman and former football coach Johnny Majors. He is now currently the general manager of the Vol Network. He's held that post since 2004. Steve Early is our next honorary letterman. Steve? Drop that mic down, thanks. <laughs> I just want to say that I am incredibly honored for a Knoxville boy to, to grow up here and worship the University of Tennessee and, and the Vol Network, and I did. I recorded a lot of those games. To be able to do what I do for a living is, is the ultimate dream job. Now, I always, when I was a kid, I knew I was going to be a letterman. I thought I was going in as a quarterback. <laughs> But it took me 30 years later, but I finally made it. And I'm very appreciative, and there's really no way to adequately describe what that means, because my heroes like Haywood Harris and Gus Manning and, and Russ Bebb have that, would wear that special lapel pin, and that mattered to me. And to be able to have that same opportunity, nothing better. Thank you very much. <laughs> 